Hey y'all, welcome back to Cow's Corner 72. If you want to watch some air head hunting, you in for a treat today. I just walked up on a point. I've got a couple in my pocket they busted. I'll show you at the cleanup. But uh, looks like the rest of it's gone, but the tip's still here. Hang on, I'm gonna show it to you. <laughs> y'all see it yet? Right in the center of the screen. Let's get down there and pick it up. See, there's all kind of flint and stuff laying everywhere. That, my friends. No, oh, yeah. That's nice. That's a real nice point. Look at that. It's just a tip. Let me give you a sky view. Look at that. It's just a tip, y'all. But, it's just thing to focus. I love it. Let's give it a smooch and keep going. I got a lot of field to hunt. Appreciate y'all coming by Calvin's Corner 72 and checking me out. All right, y'all. I walked up on a piece of flint, and I'm thinking, because it got a lot of... I seen this right here, and I flipped this out. But I see this right here, and it looks like it's got workings on it. I'm hoping it's a point, or at least a triangle, or something. Oh, man. You know what? What's got working on it? It probably was a piece of one that got busted. Looks like the edge right there. All right, we'll go further. Sorry about that, guys. I guess I shouldn't have turned the camera off because I was literally right there. You see that piece I just flipped over and I walked two steps. Looks like I found a base. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what that is. Man, it's busted. It's gone. You can't win a mile, you know what? You can't win a mile, guys. This camera's not wanting to focus today. I'm sorry about that. Let's give it a sky look. Sky view. <laughs> yeah, it's got the notches. But the tip's gone. Look at that. Boy, it's all right. Oh, well. We'll get the next one. Y'all stick around. All right, y'all. Got me on the camera now. You can see my expression. Let's check this out. I don't know what it is, but it looks like it has a lot of potential. Oh, man. Nope. It's just a piece of green slate. But you know, that's what they make them gorgets out of. Kind of like the one hanging on my neck. <laughs> you never know. You got to check them all. Y'all stick around. Guys, I don't know how well y'all can see me. I'm going to tell you something. You're just going along here, just jostling along, you know, and kicking stuff and flipping little pieces of flint and juking them and everything, you know. I just flipped that right there out with my toe, with my foot, and look at that, a bird point. I mean, a, a smoker, <laughs> for me anyway. That is so cool. not made perfect but it's good enough for me thank you great spirit y'all stick around this is getting interesting hey guys i'm back it looks like uh we're in a pretty good hot spot right here there's all kind of flint all around me here i'm looking around and there's stuff right here on the ground skunk stone and look right here there's some big this is the kind of things you look for guys when you're out hunting Pieces, you know, the more stone and rock you find, there's a big chunk of flint right there. That could be part of an area. Hmm. It's not. Well, like I say, I know I found one here live. But we got one right here we got to check out. Now I got to find out where, where it's at. Sometimes it's not good to walk off, is it? Before you find it or check it out. Holy crap. <laughs> I've lost it. No, I didn't. There it is. <laughs> Note to self, don't do it again. <laughs> Let's check this out. This looks pretty pretty interesting. Pretty it's got some potential. Oh man. It looks like it's just a chunk, guys. That's the way it goes. There's been arrowheads found here, guys, in this field, in this area. They go back to early 
archaic. And uh, I dare say there's some paleo stuff been found around here too, which is the 12, 15,000 years ago. It's just few and far between. There's just pieces of flint stuff laying everywhere, guys. When you get yourself in the right spot, off a river, on a high spot, in a plowed field, slow down and look for chips, look for tools, hammer stones. Them's are the biggest things you'll find first, you know, and then you start slowing down and looking around and you'll, you'll, you'll start finding points. Well, you'll find flakes first, more than likely. And then you'll start finding points. I just thought I'd do a little quick run around here and see if we could find something live action. Y'all, everybody likes live action. And uh, I'm looking. Sorry, I'm talking to y'all, but I'm looking too. But I like trying to find some live action. Because that way you know I'm not just planting them. I'm not just saying, oh, we'll stick this here and come back two days later and dig it up and say, hey, I found an arrowhead. I know y'all know I ain't doing that. But I, I don't know if there is some channels doing that, but I tell you what, I've seen some awesome, awesome arrowheads been found on some videos. And it's hard to believe that they're in good shape as they are in a field they're going to get plowed up and busted and that's what i'm running into all right big chunk but when you're hunting in the water a lot of times they were shot in there by the indians shooting at something whatever you know may have been a battle wash up well if nobody's busted or stepped on it or anything it's in pretty good shape still maybe laying on a bank sometimes we find arrowheads we think that are uh, that are good there was something that they were making and they made a little flaw on them and they threw them down and just simply started making another one we see it and say all right arrowhead cool it may have never got you know any action outside of the man making it himself i kind of like the ones that have the tip dings on them you know and people get oh man the tips got busted off that one the tips you know, oh my God, look at that, guys. I just flipped that up. I know they made points out of slate. That could have definitely been a point. It's got notching on both sides, but that could have been from the plow. I'll leave it here. I know some of y'all screaming, God, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> but yeah, I lost my train of thought, guys. But anyhow, I'm gonna look around here some more, see if I can find something. I know by the time I turn this off, it'll be something else. I'm in an awesome spot up here on this flat. It's on a high spot, it's flat, and there's a lot of stuff up here, and I got a lot of walking to do. I've been hunting for about two hours, and I've got about three points, and they're all broke. I'm on the quest for a full wire head. <laughs> Y'all stick with me, let's see what we can find. Guys, there ain't one thing just about one thing that'll pull me away from deer hunting that's arrowhead hunting when you get an opportunity to hit a field i got four months to deer hunt i ain't got four months to hunt this field so i'm in it today walked up on this artifact here and it's been hit by the plow but y'all see them little divots right there them little bitty bitty divots they're all in this thing on this side and on this side and this is a this is a netting stone some people call them hammer stones, and they are. You know, you, they were hammering with them. Now, it's not been worked around the edges, not that I can really tell. But these things are all in these fields out here, and I know a lot of y'all would like to have these artifacts, and I'd like to be able to give them to you, but I just ain't going to take it today. It's just going to have to stay here. I'm too far from the truck to be toting a bunch of them out. I'd weigh another 150 pounds time I got back in the truck back Sometimes I take them to the edge and get them the next time I come. I've got a matati over on the other side of the field. I'm going to get it on my way back out. It's really heavy. It's, it's about the size of a basketball. But it's got a real nice smoothed out spot where they ground corn and stuff with it and acorns and nuts and uh, just whatever they could get. So I'm going to take it home. But it's going to be on my way out. It ain't going to be. I ain't going to. I wasn't going to make no special trip right back to the truck. I know y'all understand, but uh, some of y'all get out and hunt this stuff. 
just wanted to bring this to y'all's attention. Some of y'all newbies out there that might want to know what a tool like that looks like. Appreciate you coming by Calvin's Corner 72. I try to teach as well. Just um, show y'all what I do out here. Appreciate y'all having patience with me. Well, guys, I walked up on something here. Let's check it out. I don't know if it's going to be an arrowhead or not, but it sure has a potential to be. Oh, yeah. That's a point. Thank goodness. Thank you, Great Spirit. That is awesome. Nice little quarter notch, too, actually. Well, I don't know. It looks like a triangle. What do y'all think? Just a... I can see it better like that. Where my finger's at up here, the tip's gone. I'm so sorry about my camera not wanting to focus today, guys. I'm having a hard time with it. But uh, let's give it a sky view. Now you can get a better idea of what it looks like. That's awesome, y'all. It's pretty thin. I like it. Nothing wrong with that. Let's go further. <clears throat> well, y'all. Hey, looks like old Shadow Man come by to see us today. He says, hello, y'all. Get on back here in the corner where the getting's good. <laughs> looks like I've walked up on something here. Check this out. This is an absolute authentic point. Let's get in here close so y'all can see me dig it out. I really ain't got to dig it, but there's where it was. And here's where it is. Check that out. Guys, that's awesome, y'all. Been sharpened down. Looks like it was part of it and the rest of it got busted off, but I got the base. I like it. I'll take it. Let's keep going, y'all. Burned out pretty good. Well, guys, I'm getting parched. I am so tired right now. Whew, it's hot out here, and of course, I forgot my water. But I walked up on something, and I'm going to get turn around here so maybe y'all can see it a little better. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's going to be a point, but it looks like it's got a lot of potential. So I'm going to try to dig it up here. Oh, my goodness, it looks really good. I'm gonna do it like everybody else to make y'all mad, y'all. I know what y'all are saying. Go ahead, just dig it, pick, pick it up. <laughs> That's what I did. Well, I would say it was a point at one time, but some bad shape. <laughs> oh well, I'm not mad. I'm in a good spot. Y'all stick around and see if we can find something else walking over there and I flipped out this big old piece. I'm not sure if it's a point. It looks like it might be a base and the tip was gone. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Guys, it's getting a little windy out here. I'm not sure if it's going to mess up the volume or not, but I just messed up a twofer. I picked up this skunk stone right here and uh, looks like that's part of an arrowhead. It got busted. So I'm going to put that in right over here. And this one it's quartz, and it's got notches on both sides. Y'all can see that or not. I'm sorry, this camera don't want to. There it is. See the notches? One over here and one over here. The tip would have been up here. And this is the base where my thumb's at. God dang it. I had a two for this laying right here together. And I flipped them both over and didn't know for sure what they was. And they may have a three for Looks like something right here stuck in the ground. I'll flip it out. Three broke too. Dang. It's got working right on the edge. Right here, my thumb would have been the base. Yep, the tip's gone. It would have been up here. Dang, gone it. It ain't every day you get a three for and all of them's broke. Uh oh, here's some live action. Some stuff right here. Nope. 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 Just a big piece of flint right there chert whatever you want to call it guys some people call flint chert and some of them don't looks like we're gonna have a broken up clean up <laughs> um i may try to hunt on the other side of the field but right now i'm gonna have to stop over here i'm getting hot and i'm like brooks you know like brooks he's nomadic adventures yeah he's 
he knows when to cut it short and it gets too hot and i'm getting hot and i'm getting thirsty and i gotta go get me some water so i'll see y'all maybe on the other side of the field there i cool off a little bit god somebody don't want me to leave i'm telling you i didn't get 20 feet walking back towards where i was gonna come out of here and look right here man i hope that's a blunt and it ain't busted look at that <laughs> you talking about excited now golly man it's broke shoot man that'd been a killer look at that base on that thing <laughs> yeah it's broke off right there so it's not worked as nice on the back side well it probably was it's just where it got busted man i'm gonna have to give this in the sky view y'all now where my finger on top look at that look at that boy dang look at that pretty shank <laughs> That's what I get excited about right there. Thank you, great spirit. I'll give it a kiss. I don't care if it is broke. Hell, I'm broke too. <laughs> well, guys, here's the cleanup. Didn't get a whole lot today, but I had a good time. Had a good time hunting, I'll tell you what. Got a big old Matati right here. I don't know if y'all can tell. That's got a big old worn out spot right in the middle. Maybe you can see it if I do it like that. Well, it's war on the side too, right here in the middle. And on this side, it's got a it's got a hole in it. So they use this to grind and peck on. You can see the pecking marks on it. Here's my just basic a lot of flint and stuff. Here's some pieces I picked up just you know for flint and steel. It's great. It's got great angles on it. Um, got a. Uh, Looks like a piece of a billet stone or something. Broke on bone, both ends, but you can see right there all the pitting where they were using it to hammer with and stuff. So, anyways, I picked that up. This could possibly be a Guilford axe. I'm not real sure. It's, it's awful thin and small if it is. It's that old blue slate. Um, it's probably the biggest point. The tip's gone right there. And uh, this would have actually been a real nice point. The side of it, actually the side, you can see that this is the this is the side, and it would have had to come to a point it would have come around again to another side like this, but didn't make it. Plows is uh, tearing them up, guys. These are all just bases. That's some really cool base right there. That's almost a complete point. That one almost is, but it's actually busted. And these are just some tips, so. That's it for today. I appreciate y'all coming by Cow's Corner Summer 2. Keep a lookout because uh, I don't know when this video is going to post. Today is September the 9th. I'll be going back out in the morning and hunting on the other side of the field in a different spot. So uh, there may be some more videos coming. Y'all stay tuned to Cow's Corner Summer 2. Get out there and find you some arrowheads.